There we go. Hey, Buddha. Just stay where you are for a sec. He is big. That's an adult. Yeah, you're okay, bud. They're a lot smarter than we give them credit for. A lot of people see them as a, a vermin because they're a rodent, but they're, they're smarter than we think. I manage the Tulalip Beaver Project. It's a program where we trap animals that are considered nuisance and relocate them up to forest service land on the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. We have had instances where a tree has been taken out by a beaver that's taken out a power line that's fallen on someone's roof. In that case, we're like, okay, that's a nuisance animal and that should be relocated. So right now we're on the uh, Battle Creek golf course. golf course on the Tulalip Reservation on hole 10. <laughs> we're using beavers as tools for salmon restoration Salmon are a subsistence resource for the Tulalip tribes, so we're trying to enhance their numbers. They're significantly declining in the Puget Sound region right now, which is a big concern with all of the human development and impacts of climate change. So we're using beavers to try and uh, reverse some of those effects. So when you put a beaver in a stream, it builds dams and those create deep, cool pools that are good rearing habitat for fish. Primarily the way that we determine whether a beaver is a male or a female is um, by scent. There. Smells like motor oil if it's a male. And if it's a female, it's kind of like blue cheese. <laughs> Consensus? It's a male. Okay. <laughs> Got him. One, two, three. Previous to 2017, beaver relocation was actually illegal in western Washington. So this project was operated under the sovereign rights of the Tulalip tribes to enhance fish habitat. It's important because there's so many negative effects of climate change that we're seeing in this region and because people think of this as kind of like a pristine region, I think those effects are seen um, more evident, especially in these natural places. If we weren't doing this work, there would be many more beavers euthanized due to, in part to the previous beaver bill, um, it was mandated that private and commercial trappers euthanize beavers on site. So previously a landowner would call a private trapper, they'd come trap and kill those animals. So for the past couple of years we've been the only non-lethal beaver removal option for landowners. We find that beavers are worth much more in the restoration costs that they can provide than as a pelt. 